Hello everyone and welcome to video tutorial how to install a rootless Kalina Ad Hunter on Android smartphone. I divided this video into three parts. In the first one, we'll go through an in-detail tutorial how to install Kalina Ad Hunter on rootless Android through Termux. It's really easy. Then we'll continue with two more parts of the video where a goal will be to build a portable Kali workstation. So we will set up SSH server on our smartphone that we could connect to from any other device, such as laptop, through SSH without graphic user interface GUI. The third part of the video, the last one, will contain installation of, installation of VNC server on our smartphone and then we could connect to our device with full GUI support to have full Kali desktop experience from our smartphone. These were the three parts. More information about this is on my blog post, on my website. Link will be in the video description. So feel free to check it out. Now, let's start. As a first thing, we need to download NetHunter Store from storenethunter.com. Install. And from the store, download Termux app. Make sure to download app Termux from NetHunter Store or rather from Google Play since it's, it appears to be deprecated or there are necessary some tweaks to make the Termux actually work. Once downloaded, NetHunter Store request permission to install app outside of Play Store, install Termux, go back and search for Kex install it and we will use it later on. Now let's proceed with NetHunter installation. Open Termux, type Termux setup storage, which will request permission to access file on external media, which are necessary. Then we install wget. Using wget, we will download installation script and store it as an H on our device. We will add execution permission for the script and execute it. The script will analyze the architecture of our smartphone, download the particular root or root FS, verify the integrity and unpack it. If there is a request to change the configuration file, just either hit no or enter which no is a default. All you have to do now is just sit and wait. Before installation ends, the scripts give us option to remove a root FS file. I would say remove it because it would take 1.7 extra gigabyte from our storage. The installation took around 20 minutes and let me quickly check. Around 30 gigabytes from our internal storage. After successful installation, we'll see this ASCII graphic, but actually we have two options. The first one is using a command line version of Kelly by typing NetHunter or NH. And from here, we can use any Kali tools such as Nmap, Metasploit, etc. If this is not enough for you, we can also set up a VNC local connection. However, first we need to set up a password for CAX for VNC server by typing NetHunter CAX password. And we don't need view only password. Now let's just start NetHunter CAX server. Now it should be running. Go back and open NetHunter CAX client, the app we downloaded before. It's already pre set up. All we need to input is our password and hit connect. Right now, we are able to use full GUI Kali Linux directly on our smartphone. So now let's set up SSH daemon, configure it and 
start SSH server on our smartphone. Open Termux, go to NetHunter, edit the SSH daemon config file, type the password, the default for Kali is Kali. And uncomment the port. However, during my test, port 22 was not accessible. Maybe it's used by the system. So we have to use custom 2222. Save the settings. Start SSH server. Verify if it is running. In this case, it's running. Now we need IP address that we will connect to from our computer. Type ifconfig. Our IP address is 107. Now from our computer, we will use OpenSSH to connect to our smartphone. As the user Kali. And define our custom port. The password is Kali, the default one. And we're successfully connected to our NetHunter machine. If you want to connect your smartphone from computer and have full desktop GUI experience, we need to set up VNC server on our NetHunter. By editing VNC server config defaults, scroll down. And we will add the line to disable only local host. Save the config and start the CAG server in our NetHunter. Since we already know our IP address, we also know the port 5901 we have to connect to from our desktop. I will use VNC Connect. Hit continue. Enter password we set up when we initialize the GAX server. And now we have, with terrible graphics, full GUI. However, when we kill the session, it's already stored in here and we can change the quality by going to options and hitting high picture quality and reconnect. It's slightly laggy, but it's usable. In this case, we have a portable Kelly workstation in our pocket that we can use and connect to from any computer on our local network.